Hey, how's it going everybody? Uncle Ron, Brother Ron here in Kanapali, about two miles out of Lahaina, out of the burn zone. I just want to talk about, uh, again, mental health, because a lot of people here in Lahaina are figuring out what they're going to do, especially um, where they're going to live. And there's a lot of things that's on their mind right now. And, you know, they say, well, Maui's strong. And you know, there's some people tell me, hey, Ron, you guys shouldn't have that Lahaina strong. Well, let me break something down for all of you, all right? Last I checked, the last I checked, if you look at the map of the Lahaina fires, the outline, that's where we grew up. That's Lahaina, folks, from like Kaneao Street all the way to the end of Kuamana where the uh, highway, Honoapiilani Hono Highway, uh, turns into Front Street. That was burned down. That's Lahaina, all right? Nothing else. That town got fucking fried. It got fucking burned, all right? So that's Lahaina. That's where it, it got decimated. And I understand that upcountry, you lost homes as well. I'm not discounting that. But our fucking town, listen to me, our fucking town, everything got decimated. It's gone, all right? So there's a difference from, uh, you, you know, you got you still got your town. You might have, you know, 80% of your town left. Lahaina's got nothing. And you don't count Kanapali. You don't count Napili. That's West Maui. I'm talking about the town. I'm just being real, all right? I'm not into fantasy and bullshit. Lahaina town got fucking wasted. It got torched. And I'm pissed off and people say, no, it's just Maui strong. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Maui was affected. People lost jobs. But fucking shit, listen. Lahaina people lost their houses, their town, and possibly their loved ones. So Lahaina got fucked up. No place else, all right? I just want to make that clear. I'm sorry for cussing, but that's it, all right? Okay, that's good. I got that out of the way. If you want to come to Maui, you want to visit Maui, that's cool. But really, Lahaina's gone, right? The jewel of the west side is gone. There's nothing for ya. There's nothing for ya if you come to the west side. I mean, there's no hotels like where I'm at right now. I don't know how long we got to stay here. I thank God we have a place to stay. You can go to the beach, you can go to the pool, you can go whatever. But the jewel, the gold, the jewel, the, the rock star of the west side is gone. It's nothing for maybe 10 years, all right? And just updating right now, talking about mental health. My whole thing is about mental health. And just to give you guys an update, you know, what kind of uh, problems we're facing right now. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, right across the street. There's a shopping mall across the street here in Hono, Kauai, on the west side. We we're staying at a, 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 a condominium complex, a, like a hotel condo. And right across the street, I got the beachfront right in front of me. I can see um, waves right now crashing. It's really beautiful. But this isn't home. This is just temporary. I can see a nice pool right below me. I'm on the sixth floor. If this was a vacation, this would be a, a perfect a perfect setup, if you will, but it's not a vacation. Um, a lot of people are on edge because they don't know what's gonna happen to them today, tomorrow, or the, in the coming weeks or months. Okay, so right now, some of the issues that we have, let me, uh, I'm, I'm not scripted, so I'm gonna go off script. I'm not even scripted. So we have uh, moms, we have parents that um, are, are sheltered temporarily, but they're going back to work and they still have to go to like a FEMA or whatever, uh, or to the doctors and fill out forums and, and whatnot. So they're still doing a lot of paperwork and especially parents with young kids, you know, like elementary school kids or preschool elementary school kids and, you know, high school kids. So, you know, they're all minors, so they need, you know, parental guidance, they need parental uh, support, you know, as parents, they have to do that. And Maui is a small island, but not a small island. You know, let me uh, break something down for you if you're not from here or you haven't been here. On the west side, to get to the, the central side, uh, sometimes with traffic, it could be up to an hour to get there. Uh, if you go to the south side, about the same time. If you're lucky, you can get there within 35, 40 minutes. 
So even though you live in an island, we do a lot of driving. And a lot of parents right now, they have kids going to one school, another kid going to another school, and that parent got to go to work, and that spouse is back to work or not. So they got one car because another car burned in the flames or whatever. So they're stressing out. They're going back and forth here and there in one day, and they're getting burned out. Um, I know some people, they don't have money for gas because they got money, vouchers or whatever for, for, for food and whatnot. And although they're being housed, uh, the stress level is going up considerably. And, um, and people are still feeling it, you know, two, three months after the flames. Uh, I met a guy across the street, this, this dude, and um, I was just talking to him. And uh, he was totally pissed off. And I just let him talk, I let him vent. He was pissed off at everything. Pissed off at the fire, pissed off at the electric company, pissed off at the fire department, pissed off at the mayor, pissed off at everybody, the governor, Biden. He was just going off and, you know, I think he has uh, every right to be that way because I think only now that he processed everything because he's a father and he's got kids and he just needed someone to vent to and it was me. I think God put me on earth to receive people's venting. And um, so I was just ready to cross the street and he was right there, he bought some food and he was telling me his story, right? You know, he was staying in another resort, like just about two blocks down the street. He walked over to get some plate lunches for his family. So he has a kid going to high school, has to pick her up. And he was just mad and um, he was just pissed off at a lot of things. And that's all I'm gonna say because he's stressed out. Because he's a parent, he's gotta take care of his wife and kids and he's going all over the island just to get things done. So people are stressed out in that way, you know. And, um, and he was telling me, like, well, you know, is your family all right? So this is the kicker right here. I says, hey man, is your family right? And apparently this guy lost three, he lost three family members. Um, I don't know if it's like immediate or maybe cousins or whatever, but nonetheless, it's family members. And um, he, he lost three people in the fires. So right now here in the West Side and, and Maui, we're gonna see a lot of um, homeless people. Possibly we're gonna see a lot of depression. And I pray to God this doesn't happen. But, um, you know, suicide thoughts, it's here. A lot of people, you know, are going through depression. And I had you know, a couple of local brothers tell me straight off the bat, and they're, you know, their husbands and, uh, you know, uh, fathers, and they're stressing out. And a couple of guys told me already, man, they don't want to live. So, you know, if anything, if you guys believe in prayer, just pray for the people here on Maui that's suffering from depression and all kinds of emotion and, and you know, pray for their uh, mental health, all right? Uncle Ron, Brother Ron, thank you very much. You guys take care, God bless.